What if you could step into the DMT realm, not for a few minutes, but for an hour or even more? What if we could stabilize that experience, explore it, map it, and even communicate with the beings encountered within the space? This isn't science fiction. This is DMTX, a delivery method for DMT aimed to extend the DMT breakthrough experience for as long as desired. This may have key roles in treating psychiatric conditions, but also as a profound tool for learning about the DMT space and its inhabitants. I'm Reed with Treptime Essentials. This is separate from my future role in naturopathic medicine, and we never recommend the use of illegal substances on this channel. So, DMT, or NN dimethyltryptamine. What is this thing again? It's a powerful psychedelic found in everything from ayahuasca and many plants, and even found in the human body. A breakthrough dose, when smoked or vaporized, lasts only about 5 to 15 minutes, and users describe it as more immersive than dreams or even than reality itself. But what if you could stay in that space? That's the whole idea behind DMTX, short for Extended State DMT. The concept was co-developed by Dr. Andrew Gallor, who is a computational neurobiologist, and Rick Strassman, who's the researcher and author behind the book, DMT, The Spirit Molecule. He did a whole bunch of research back in the 90s using injected DMT, not this extended state version though, but just a single injection. So instead of just smoking or injecting a single dose like used in Strassman's older studies, DMTX actually uses target-controlled IV infusion to maintain a steady-state DMT experience. This allows the experience to actually continue without fading for as long as the DMT continues to be infused into the bloodstream. This technology is inspired by techniques used in anesthesiology to keep people anesthetized during surgery. It's important to emphasize the indigenous peoples of the Amazonian rainforest already concocted a method to achieve extended DMT experience thousands of years ago with the ayahuasca brew, which actually allows DMT to be orally active by co-administering monoamine oxidase inhibiting plants, MAOI containing plants. However, this ayahuasca experience lasts four to six hours, with much of that not being a complete breakthrough state and introduces many side effects like digestive distress and purging the stomach, even, you know, diarrhea and many other physical symptoms. These physical effects can interfere with appreciating the full depth of the immersive DMT state. This is a great time to mention if you do find yourself embarking on an ayahuasca journey or any psychedelic journey, you may want to check out our pre-trip supplement packets. These are designed specifically to calm the mind and the stomach and promotes a more peaceful trip. Pre-trip contains 13 natural ingredients in the fully effective dose ranges. Also, Andrew Gallimore and Rick Strassman fully respect and appreciate the work of these indigenous peoples who have explored DMT for so many years and also emphasize how the ayahuasca brew is intentionally used in these communities to communicate with beings or spirits as they sometimes refer to them. The DMTX project is really a modern scientific feat to optimize and perfect the accessibility of the DMT state. So a continuation of the work already put in by these indigenous communities. Okay, so here's what actually makes DMTX scientifically possible. DMT doesn't produce subjective tolerance to its effects the way that most psychedelics do. With other classical psychedelics like LSD, psilocybin, and mescaline, your 5-HT2A receptors downregulate or desensitize quickly, and you need much more dose to get the same effect. But with DMT, you can take dose after dose and still achieve a full breakthrough. So this unique property really is what makes it ideal for the extended infusions, where a serum concentration can be targeted, then maintained. In theory, someone could remain immersed in the DMT state for hours without the experience doling or fading. So what are researchers and psychonauts hoping to do with DMTX? 
For one, many describe DMT as entering another dimension. The space is often consistent. Fractal architectures, four-dimensional physical spaces, hyper-intelligent beings, often perceived as very spiritual in nature. And environments and themes that repeat across users and cultures. Andrew Gallimore's hope is that we might actually map the DMT realm as if it's a real space with structure, rules, and repeatable elements seen person to person. Other goals are even more bizarre and fascinating. DMTX may enable communication with entities due to enabling prolonged periods of contact with them. In many trip reports, people describe intelligent beings with language, intent, and even lessons to teach us. Andrew Gallimore actually describes DMT as one of the most important technologies for humanity if these entities are real, hyper-intelligent, with things to teach us. Skeptics in the space see these experiences as simply complex brain activity, nothing more than neural activity. But advocates argue if the experience is consistent across cultures with shared geometry and logic, experiencing environments that have never been perceived even in the craziest of our dreamscapes, with constant reports of the space feeling more real than reality itself, could it all be more than a hallucination? That's really what DMTX is trying to do. Trying to explore this space and really just give credibility to that there may be some real things to gain from these enormously powerful experiences. DMTX remains highly experimental. There are no large-scale clinical trials. However, human studies have been performed, confirming the safety and efficacy of sessions lasting 30 minutes long with one previous study showing administration over 90 minutes. In the study with 30-minute duration, they had users report the intensity of the experience every two minutes, and the experience remained quite stable in intensity for the whole duration of infusion, as seen in this graph. This is extremely promising for future durations even longer than this. It is very important to emphasize that this is not a party drug. It's a consciousness exploration tool with immense potential and also some psychological risk if not done safely in a good controlled setting. These experiences are very intense. The participants in the main study referenced all had previous experience with a psychedelic substance. So they weren't first time explorers of the psychedelic state. It was actually a requirement for the study that they had previous experience. Not with DMT exactly. But uh, apparently most of the users did have specific DMT experiences already. Overall, DMTX really gives us something we've never had before. Systematic, extended exploration of our particularly peculiar altered state of consciousness that's very talked about. You know, these little 5 to 10 minute chunks of DMT vapor. <laughs> these experiences are shape people's lives in ways that can't even be measured. And this is really what Namecheck is just trying to extend that state. And it forces us to ask, what is consciousness? Where do these experiences come from? Who are the entities encountered within the space? And are they part of something larger than ourselves? Can they teach us things? You know, all of these questions, this is really the motivation. This is, you know, Andrew Gallimore is quoted talking about the motivation for this project really being to give credibility to these entities try to learn about them, try to even develop a stream of communication between them and us. And, uh, you know, if we can co-evolve together, it sounds kind of crazy, but this is really the mission ultimately of the project. Of course, it's going to be repurposed for psychedelic assisted therapy and DMT has recently been found to be quite beneficial for depression. So this truly is just the beginning. The group Nunautics.org is still accepting applications for their DMTX program, which will be part of their Psychedelic Research Institute and Retreat Center, supposedly opening at the beginning of 2026, but you know how these things go. It could be much longer than that. But on their website, yeah, you can apply, and you might be on a wait list for whoever knows how long, but there may be an opportunity to try DMTX. If you found this all mind-blowing, wait until you see what's next. We'll be covering some even crazier preliminary projects related to this concept. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, and drop a comment below. 
Do you think the DMT realm is real? Would you ever try DMTX? Does this just sound way too crazy? Would you even like, why would you even want to extend to the experience? Personally, I'd be very curious to try. In the meantime, go check out this video. And as always, elevate your trip.